Hi, welcome to Room 5. My name's Susie and I'm going to talk to you about living on a farm. Well, for five years of my life I lived on a farm in the north of England, in Leeds. Um, it was a pig farm, so we had 525 pigs approximately, it's a little bit whiffy. Um, 14 horses, I seem to remember, most of them geriatrics that had just happened to appear. Um, three dogs and five cats that were all constantly fighting, which was usually just like a starburst of cats. That was all, all you ever saw in the morning. Um, it was great living on a farm because it meant that you got lots of fresh air. It meant that in the morning when you woke up, the, the sound that you heard was horses grazing in the field, which was really relaxing. Um, it was great helping out on the farm, cleaning out the pigs and things like this, really getting your hands dirty. Um, meant that you were a little bit stinky sometimes because the problem is you have a shower uh, and your paws open and then you go out dancing and your paws open again and you tend to smell a little bit of pigs but it's fine. So with the pigs we used to have to go in and clean out all of the straw to one side of the piggery and then refill it with clean straw which the pigs absolutely loved, especially the wieners, the babies. They used to go crazy when you put in the clean straw snuffling around and running around like crazy. Um, so then that was always really, really pleasant seeing them in their clean bedding and everything. Uh, feeding wasn't a problem because we had a state-of-the-art machine that used to pump in the whey feed throughout the day so they got fed uh, perfectly well without you having to do anything. And with the horses, now that was slightly different because horses are very intelligent. Um, so it was always something different every day. For example, you'd go down to let the horses out and they'd already let themselves out. We had one in particular called Murphy, who was a real joker. He uh, was a bit of an escape artist. You used to open his door and go around opening all the other horses' doors and then basically go and they'd all steal the food from the food bins. So uh, every day something different with Murphy. Um, the horses also had a pecking order, which meant that when they were out in the field, we knew which doors to have open for which horses coming when, because they, they always came in the same order. Because there was always Nick first, because he was the boss, and then it kind of tailed off to, to whoever. But if there was ever any kind of disorder in the group, then there was, there was big trouble to be had. Um, the dogs, they kind of just did their own thing. They used to be constantly black, running around the farm, covered in, in whatever they could find. Um, and other than that, really, the main... The main mucking out was the horses and the pigs, I would say, and the cats definitely just did their own thing, very independent. Um, but I loved living on a farm, I definitely think I'm not really a city dweller, I'm definitely a country bumpkin. I loved my time on the farm, um, I would say that anyone, if they get the chance to live out in the countryside and have animals, they definitely should, it's a really enriching experience. Um, if I ever get a chance to go back there or to live in the countryside, maybe in Spain, I would definitely do that. Um, it's been nice talking to you today on Room 5. My name's Susie and hopefully see you soon.